So we want to bring some more updates to what's going on in Parchman prison. Now, last video we covered with that Jay-Z had filed a federal lawsuit against the prison, um, in representation of inmates, but two inmates were beaten to death as of recently in a fight with other inmates in the understaffed Mississippi prison. Now this has been shaken by other deadly violence in recent weeks, according to a coroner. What's going on in Parchment prison right now? You notice the Democrats are quiet. Joe Biden, Bernie Sanders, and all those Democrats don't want to talk about Parchment prison. And I believe that we need to be on them on their social media, run up on them and say, Hey, there's a prison in Mississippi called Parchment prison. And y'all wouldn't even put a dog in there. And you tell them exactly what's going on in their prison. They're gonna play dumb and say, Oh, what parchment prison? What are you talking about? And you need to know how to articulate that. Cause I've seen, you know, one gentleman run up on Tulsa Gabbard and she asked him about the prison itself. And he really had a hard time explaining it to her other than it's a prison. Cause let's say if no one never heard about parchment prison at all, well, you it just sound like you're talking about the jail. You're not getting into the conditions, you're not getting into, well, it's understaffed. They have moles, they have rats, they have roaches. They have brown water. They, a lot of times the water don't work. It floods in there. People get staffed, people getting killed. People are, you know, suffering with gang violence in there and the guards are being a part of it. You got to be able to explain it to someone when you meet them, no matter what subject matter it is, you got to already have your speech lined up. So if you go to any politician, have what you're going to say in your mind. Don't go like, uh, 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 no, don't do that. Please have your speech ready to go. So they say the department of corrections on Tuesday confirmed the men died at the prison at Parchman after they did an investigation on the investigation. Now they said they died from blunt force beating injuries. They said the department originally said the inmates died Monday, but they said that it later clarified they died early Tuesday, according to a spokeswoman. Now they said the injury occurred late Monday as the two inmates fought with other prisoners. I say at this moment, it appears there was an isolated incident. No, it's not isolated. It's not isolated. That's what they always say for everything. Well, it's an isolated incident. Yeah. Everything isolated. Everything. Let's say not a continuation of recent retaliatory kill. Oh God. Not a, a, oh God. Not a continuation of the recent retaliatory killings. Now I say violence is a major problem in Mississippi prisons where many jobs for guards are unfilled because they have short staff. So these guys get away, whatever they say five inmates were killed and an undisclosed number of inmates were injured during an outbreak of violence in the prison system between December 29th through January 3rd, three of the five deaths were at Parchman prison. In addition to those deaths, two on Tuesday, another inmate was found hanging in his cell a Saturday night at Parchman. Now they said the night before that inmate was found hanging, uh, they said he was irate and he was throwing feces before his death. I said one of the inmates that died on Tuesday, um, his name is Timothy Hudspeth, 35, who was there for a 10 year sentence for possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. You have, you have a, a second amendment in this country, but they can say you're a felon. Now you can't have a gun and then you have a gun and then now they gonna put you in jail. They look for any reason to put somebody, especially a black man in jail. They said the name of the other inmate was not immediately released because the chaplain was trying to reach the family. I'll say more than two dozen inmates sued the state January 14th, saying that understaffed prisons are plagued with violence and inmates are forced to live in decrepit and dangerous conditions. Now they said Jay-Z and Yo Gotti was paying the attorneys in the case. So they ended up moving 375 prisoners to a private prison um, for them to be at. But this is the thing, this is slavery. This is complete slavery and this is worse than slavery because at least the slaves didn't leave and didn't live in those kind of conditions. I told you guys the 13th amendment allows this. That's why they don't care how much money it costs the taxpayer. It is big business for them to lock black men up. Just like they said, they have more black men in prison than enslaved in America. That is horrible. That is extremely horrible. Mass incarceration, America loves it. China don't even mass incarcerate people. But at the end of the day, ladies and gentlemen, the Democrats are responsible for this. 
Joe Biden's crime bill that incentivized states to lock people up to make them stay 85% of their time, or you get these federal dollars. This is Joe Biden's fault. Y'all need to run up on Joe Biden and say, this is what you have done. Why aren't you being quote unquote tough on crime with these heroin addicts that are white? See, I always tell people tough on crime means tough on Negroes. That's what that means. They're not trying to lock up uh, white folks like that. They, but they're trying to lock up the Negroes. You see, Democrat policies have got us to where we are today. Democrats ignore us. They don't want to hear our condition. Matter of fact, they don't want to even say the word black. Black is a cuss word to them. Black is a cuss word. We have all these issues and problems, like I said, mass incarceration set up by Joe Biden. He wrote the bill. He was proud of that bill at that time period. Yet he's running for president and some of our black boomers in our community are supportive of him. And I don't understand why, because Joe Biden is the reason why some of our black boomers sons got locked up. How can you support that guy? It doesn't make sense at all. But leave me a comment. Let me know about the situation that's going on in Parchment, but we need to keep on speaking about this on social media. Everybody needs to get involved. Everybody needs to make their own videos, their own posts. You know, get at your politicians in Mississippi, force them to do something. Well, we have seen in the past that brothers and sisters on social media can force them to make moves. And that's what we have to do. Continue to talk about parchment. Don't let it go. That place needs to be condemned, completely condemned. And Mississippi, they need a investigation into them, complete investigation, because this is utterly wrong. I know somebody's gonna say, well, what the investigation gonna do? It's the same people investigating. Well, if you keep, apply the pressure, and this is what I've noticed, if we keep applying the pressure and we show the world what's going on here in America, I notice that they move a little bit faster versus if you just keep your mouth shut.